Right, this video is going to look at the inner workings of any React app, and today's React app is Twitter, x, x com. This one is mental. Um, I'm going to start by loading up a script that I have here. I'll share this with you at some point, but essentially what it does is it allows me to inspect the React side of things, all of the state that's hidden that's part of the virtual DOM. So let me just jump into what I call inspect mode. So you'll see as I'm mousing around, we are just getting a ton of data about these very specific components that are here. And then I can use W, A, S, and D to jump up and down um, and look at parents, look at child, siblings, etc. Now what I'm looking for is a place where state is gonna be stored. Why am I doing this? It's basically because if you're gonna go scrape any React app, what's the point in trying to <laughs> like painstakingly go through and grab the right document selectors, pick out everything you want. What's the point in trying to reverse some um, API call? You can just, you know, go to the root. So let's go up a few times. There we go, look. This looks like state to me. Really, this looks like state. Storage keys, uh -huh, user claims, tons of stuff here. I mean, like, this is the one, yeah? This is this is the the top level state. And if we go into props, maybe we have a store here. We have this get state, right? And we can just store it as a global variable and call it. And you can do this with the Chrome extension. You can do this with Puppeteer. You can do this with anything, right? I'm just using this because it's a really easy way to demo it. And you'll see our state, here it is. This is a lot of state, <laughs> loading a lot of stuff in. One I'm really interested in actually is this guy, direct messages conversations and entries now entries check it out should you be storing this sort of data a private dm message is just available like with the, just a little bit of javascript i'm not doing anything crazy here i'm not like this is all possible if you have a chrome extension but they're leaking message data all of my dms here all of them crazy really um and not only that but if you want to go in and check out what else is going on we could go into the entities section and if you want to quickly scrape a ton of data like this is this is someone's entire profile you can work out what's going on if you take a, a deeper look into this but this is all stored in react state and just you know i'm just going to refresh this so you can see what loads i'm going to put my script back in so we're gonna go straight there. Look, I've, I've done nothing. There's no interaction, whatever. I'm just gonna jump up until we get that. There we go. Until we get this uh, React root, and that's probably the best place to look at it is that the React root. And then we're gonna go back into memoirs props. I should write a method for this. Wait, can I just? No, of course I can't, of course I can't. Come on, Doug. Um, where was I looking? So in the props, we have the store, we've got the get state, and we're just going to call this again. So temp one, I'm going to call that. You know, it's all there. I, sh I shit you not. Real DM entries, and any Chrome extension can do this. Why is it uh, such a big deal? Why is it dangerous, and why am I showing this? Because, okay, firstly, I've already put this in as a bug, and... The response was, yeah, it's out of the scope of this project because, you know, it's this it's on the same level as someone has to download something and then you're compromised anyway. But it's not. <laughs> it's really not. There are people that are actively going around to indie makers like me who have Chrome extensions and they're saying, right, okay, I'll give you X amount for your Chrome extension. Yeah, it's a new acquisition. Awesome, cool, nice one. I sold my Chrome extension back in March and within three to four months, it was banned from the Chrome store. Why do you think that was? Malicious code. Was it this code specifically? No, I don't know. I don't think so. I've not seen this anywhere on the internet, but it's a huge deal. And that was a um, that was an app with I don't know, about two hundred thousand downloads and thirty thousand active users, all updating at some point. And then as soon as they go onto Twitter, you know, pound done. And if you don't know about this about Chrome extensions, you could literally just have something as benign as, okay, well, I'm just going to like get someone to open this link. But I could force a tab open and just open x.com. I don't need to go to messages tab. I don't need to do anything. I'm literally just 
fire off a piece of JavaScript and that's it. So, um, yeah, two things really. The first is like this inspector is wicked. So if you're working on React, I want you to go and check out what you're storing in state, what other people are storing in state and make sure you've got no personal identifying information in that because I've been on 10, 11 sites now checking and they're all leaking my address, my email, my phone number, literally everything, my longitude, latitude. The last time I bought shopping delivered to my house, which doorbell to press? It's ridiculous, really, and uh, I put these out, and actually no one's saying anything in return. No one's getting back to me on it. So uh, this is the video to share that. What would you do? Hmm? Like and subscribe.